have a major trip to Hawaii planned for October. 79-year-old Charles Richardson isn't celebrating a birthday or anniversary. Are you ready, Charles? This is a celebration of a milestone. Since you're the life of the party, be. Charles is the 1,000th person to have the watchman procedure. <laughs> you get a party at. Wow. At the University of Kansas Health System. There you go. I'm hoping because of this procedure that I'll get even more enjoyment out of going on that Hawaiian trip. It's a big deal. Watchman is a procedure we do in patients who have atrial fibrillation. Dr. Madhu Reddy says the procedure is perfect for a patient with AFib who should not be on blood thinners due to other health issues. So the watchman is a plug which closes the appendix of the heart. And that's where most of the blood clots form. So if you close it, even if you have a blood clot, it cannot come out and cause a stroke. Charles has had multiple heart surgeries, including a quintuple bypass, valve replacements, and he has a pacemaker. But he also has ITP, a blood platelet disorder that can cause abnormal bleeding. That was the biggest concern for Charles and his doctors. I'm able to do a lot of things that a lot of 79-year-old people are not able to do. And I'm hoping to avoid, of course, the blood thinners. I don't want to be on blood thinners. And I'm hoping my level of activity will e stay the same or increase as a result of this procedure. The fact he will be the 1,000th person to receive the watchman procedure under the cardiology team at the University of Kansas Health System was all the reassurance Charles needed. That plus his confidence in Dr. Reddy. We have been in the forefront of this field for quite some time and we'll continue to do it. Real nice and smooth. We're just going to push the device out from here. And we have contributed to science and our patients have benefited from it and we are very happy to serve patients. The specialists here are outstanding and if they give you advice, go for it. Don't wait till you're in your late 70s to try to fix something that should have been fixed 20 years ago.